Well, let's go see what I can make with those souls, shall I? I just need to remember where to go to do that. Eh. Uh, erm. Um. Oh, I remember. Crystal. Crystal, crystal, crystal. Yes. There we go. Gonna go pay a visit to... The bird person whose name I can never quite get correct. I want to say Ornifax, but I think it's Ornifex. Why are you red? You know, I think I did use... Use, um... What's it called? The... Hold on. What is it called? Yeah, the Bonfire Aesthetic. I actually used it around here, which I think is why that spider was red. That's because I was trying to farm... Whoa. Alright. That's because I was trying to farm... Zweehanders, I think. Which apparently you can get from these things, but I was never able to get another one. Close the door! It smells in here. Stupid... Hardening... Gas. Mmm. This. Hello. I have many wondrous souls. Ah, let's see. Oh, here we go. Ivory straight sword. Oh, it's a very low strength, very high dexterity weapon. Interesting. Looks like it's a straight weapon in terms of like magic and whatnot. Just a straight damage. No intelligence. No faith. Not elemental. Sword of Fabian, Knight of Elium Lois. This blade, crafted with ivory, uh, ivory ore native to the land, harnesses souls to slash at foes. Sir Fabian led the loyal knights of Elium Lois straight into the depths of chaos to exterminate the terrible things that dwelled there. But not one of the selfless knights returned. Harnesses souls to slash at foes. I don't know if that's just a bit of description lore, or if that's actually describing an effect of it. Like, maybe the more souls you have, the more damage it does? Or... something? I don't know. Could be cool. Blood the King's Pet. Lois Greatsword. Well, that's weird. That's really weird. Look at the damage on that. Hold on, so this is... Oops. Yeah, so this is a straight sword, and its base damage is 212. This is a... Great sword. And its base damage is 176. It does less damage, even though it's a great sword? Uh, I don't understand. It does no elemental damage. I mean, obviously, some other things are improved, like I'm sure it does more poise damage. Man, this ivory straight sword is incredibly light. Look, it's 0 0.5. And this thing's... 8. Yeah, there's something weird going on here. It doesn't make any sense why a weapon so much smaller would do more damage. Great sword of the Knights of Lois. The Knights of Lois were commanded to strike down each malformed terror that arose from chaos, and they would not hesitate even if it were their own king. Indeed, and they did not. They fought valiantly. Incompetently, but valiantly. Ivory King Ultra Greatsword. Ooh, this one does some bleeding damage. Yeah, this one does a more appropriate amount of damage, 230. Normal damage. And then 93 bleeding. Thirty thirty. Ultra Greatsword of the Ivory King of Liam Lois, wield with both hands to realize its full strength. It is said that the Ivory King was once the highest ranking knight in his home of Ferosa, famed for its god of war. After taking his crown, they say he was the first to swing his sword in times of need, be it for his homeland. Or his people. A 
anymore. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Lois shield. So it looks like it's a pretty small shield. Yeah, it's pretty light. Parry strike. Defense seems to be decent, although I don't have much experience with shields. Yep, Shield of the Knight of Lois, Knights of Lois, Knights of Command to Strike Down. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so I think that's everything, right? So there's three pets. Alright, there's one one of the pet <clears throat> one of the pets. Yep, there's another one, and there's a different one. And then there's the Ultra Greatsword for the big dude. Come again, if it please you. Butterfly! I think that respawned because I... Yeah, these things respawn because I... <gasps> lockstone! <laughs> oh god. Did I really just find a lockstone? These things respawn because... <laughs> these things respawn because I uh, used the bonfire aesthetic, which respawns everything except the items inside of iron chests, I believe. I think it respawns wooden chest items, but... Yeah, there's some limits, but... Does give you back some stuff, but there's a couple more things to do. And now that I just find that, found that Ferris's lockstone, which honestly feels like a curse more than anything, you know what I have to do with it. God damn, this weapon is great. But before that, let's check if there's some alternate stuff I could buy with the souls. Because there's another dude. <sighs> I just need to remember where he is, too. Blue. Is that a blue place? Somewhere blue. Here? Yeah, here. That's how I remember where the two people that trade you items for great souls are. Crystals and blue. <laughs> These dudes do, like, no damage to me now. See ya! No, looks like that's all the old stuff. Let's see if there's any spells, not that I would buy any. Yeah, okay, so the only stuff I can buy is just... Uh, just the items that Ornifex or Ornifax, whatever her name is. Because occasionally you can pick between stuff. But most of the time there's just one thing you can get. So let's just get everything and just check it out. Missed something. There it is. Okay. Come back again if you find another soul. So now we gotta head back and go use Ferris's lockstone, even though I'm pretty sure there's terrible stuff in there. Yeah, I can't remember if I actually said it in a video, but someone in, someone in the comments told me that whatever is inside of that place where you use the Ferris's lockstone is not worth it. I don't actually remember what it is. But apparently it's not worth it. But regardless, you know. In the interest of completion, I'll do it.
Okay. Let me just prep the area. Alright. Hmm. Steam bath. Uh. Alright, what is... Um, I'm trying to remember what the hell it is. Isn't that a healing pool? Hold on, I need to take damage. How do I hurt myself? Ooh, I know. Assuming I still have it on me. Shit, maybe I don't. Where's my samurai sword? Do oh no, I think I do. Yeah. Here we go. Here's how I can do some self-harm. <laughs> it's the special attack of this thing. Doesn't actually do much damage, but... Does something. Just do that a couple more times, feels good. Mmm. Performing Sudoku on myself. That's what puzzles feel like. Alright, see if that heals. Yep. That's all it is. It's just a healing pool. What a load of crap. I mean, is that kind of useful? Sure, it'd be more useful if it actually filled up your Estuses. Which it doesn't. But that's not very good at all. Alright, let's go play with the new toys, shall we? Fuck this place, I'm done. What am I doing? Feather. Okay, toy number one. Here's the first one. It's a super high dexterity one, low strength, extremely light. Unfortunately, I can't use it well, but... Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. That's a straight sword? That's not a freaking sword, that's a dagger. Maybe that's why it does so much damage, to make up for its lack of length. Well, I suppose it's probably not something you'd use in two hands that doesn't really make much sense. Whoa. That was weird. That's a strong attack. The, uh, the right trigger. Whoa. Wait a minute. Look at how much stamina that uses. It uses almost all my stamina. Does it do the same thing if I'm one-handed? No. Something very different. Weird. Yeah, this makes more sense to me. It's a really strong jab. But this weird two-handed thing, it's like... That doesn't even make any sense. Because it's not a sword, it's a needle. You know, it's like a little... Uh... God damn it, what's the name? It's like a spear. It's not sharp, uh, it's like a stake. So doing that kind of an action with it doesn't make any sense. Unless you're trying to scratch them to death. This makes sense. Anyway. Alright. Parry thing. <laughs> That's to try to block with it, good luck. Try on some easier enemies. I don't want to fight this dude out here with a weapon that I'm bad with. Let's go to the inner wall. <laughs> nice. 
Nice. <laughs> two damage. I did two damage. Three damage that time. Ooh. Hold on, how much is my damage being affected by my lack of ability to wield this? Ooh. Minus 100. It's basically taking off half the damage. Yeah, okay. This is a very short range weapon. Neat. If I had the dexterity to actually use it effectively and maybe combine it with a shield, perhaps it could be very good. Or maybe even just combine it with a falchion. Could be pretty interesting there, too. God, it's just, it's so light. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Damn, this thing has like almost unlimited durability. Look at it. 250 compared to these falchions, which have 45. Alright, next toy. Lois Greatsword. Is that one of the ones? Was that the one from the big guy? I think that's new. Yeah, because I got the charred Lois Greatsword before, but now this is the normal one, right? Yeah, the charred one does less normal damage, but more fire damage. Makes sense. It's a beautiful blade. Still can wield it effectively. How much is my skill being affected? Eh, not terribly. It's about a, th a little bit less than a third of my damage is being taken away. It's a good blade. Look at that sexy hilt. If, if I can look at it. Yeah. That's got to hurt in the stomach. Ooh. Hmm. It's got an alternative strong attack. That's weird. It's like attacking to the left. Yeah, what the hell? What are you supposed to do with this attack? I can't even hit anything with it. I, <laughs> how do you even hit anything with this? What is this? Uh, I don't get it. I can't hit somebody in front of me. I can't hit someone to my left. What? You can pretty much chain the normal attacks for as long as you want, although it looks like it kind of has maybe a two attack chain. And then it restarts. Seems like a pretty good weapon. That secondary strong attack, though, is really weird. Okay, uh, two weapons. There's one more weapon and then a shield, right? What was the other weapon? Oh no, this is the Ivory King Ultra Greatsword. Yeah. This is the one from the main dude. Things burnt. What am I doing? Not too bad. 
About a fourth of my damage is being taken away by my lack of skill. Not terrible. Could be worse. Whew. That's hitting a lot of things as you attack. Holy crap. It's got that weird attack, just like the other one. It's like attacking directly to the right and the left of me. And that's to block stuff. You can't hit me? Oh, actually you can. Hmm. Looks like there's a strong attack combo. Do that again. That seems brutal if you can get it off. Takes up all your stamina, though. The normal attacks. Okay, just a simple uh, back and forth. Try the normal attack on you. Yeah, so it only seems to hit the person in front of me once. But it seems like it could hit multiple enemies at the same time very easily. So it seems like it'd be a good weapon against multiple enemies. <laughs> Oof. Alright. Now, let's try the shield, shall we? Chlois shield. Chlois. Alright, it's not a spell parry, so I can't parry her spells. I should probably test this against something else. Also, this should be in the other hand. Yeah, let's give that a shot, actually. So let's try this against someone else. Let's try it against somebody a little bit... A little bit more melee-y. Where's my shield? Oh, right, left hand. Now I just need to remember how to use a shield. Alright, that's the uh, fan your opponent to cool them down. Alright, I am going to try to parry. Actually, let's try, let's see how much damage this absorbs. Ooh! Okay, it took all my stamina, but it absorbed most of the damage. All right, let's try parrying. Whew! Not bad. Wakey, wakey! Mm, too late. Too late. All right, this isn't going well. We have an unwelcome visitor. <laughs> that was terribly timed. <gasps> There we go. Oh, that's right, you can't... Yeah, you can't attack right afterwards.
Because if you do, it undoes them. All right, let's try you. Come on. What if you can backstab him as soon as he comes up? Yeah, there's a reason I don't really parry. I'm not very good at it. Okay, well, I think that's all the toys that I got from the boss's souls. I think that's the end of the DLC, and that's... yeah, I think that's it. Let's see. So I was going to look up and see if there's like something special I can do now that I have all the crowns, since it is a trilogy of DLCs. Perhaps now that I have all three crowns, something is now possible. So I'm going to go look that up online real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so apparently something does happen when you have all the crowns. Or at least something can happen. Apparently, if you take them to King Vendrick, well, you'll see. So let's actually get there. Excuse me, excuse me. VIP coming through. Hi. This is King Vendrick, right? Thing is, though, like I said, bring the crowns to him, but... Like, how do I present them to him? He's... He doesn't really want to talk to me. Do I do something here? What's happening? Uh, what? It's been so long since I've been here, I... Memory of the King? Did I come here before, or is this new? I don't think I came here before. This has got to be new. Seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. I am Vendrick, ruler of Drang Lake. Seeker of fire, deliverer of crowns. What do you see in the flames? Find the crowns and your own answers. The crowns hold the strength of lords from times long past. Seek adversity. As befits you, seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. <laughs> seeker of fire, conqueror of dark. I too sought fire once. With fire, they say, a true king can harness the curse. A lie, but I knew no better. Seeker of fire, you know not the depth of dark within you. It grows deeper still, the more flame you covet. Flame, oh. Seeker of fire, I see you've subdued another foul creature. One of the father of the abyss spawn. That confounded quintessence of humanity. The abyss once had form, but then dissipated. And yet, traces of its existence endured. Each fragment, thirsting for power, spread dark with no relent. My dear Chandra was one such fragment. 
a feeble, tiny thing that thirsted for power more than any other. Driven by insatiable lust for a worthy vessel. Fire came to be, and with it, disparity. Heat and cold, life and death, light and dark. Dark was seen as a curse. Shadow is not cast, but born of fire. And the brighter the flame, the deeper the shadow. Inherit fire and harness the dark. Such is the calling of a true leader. Dark was seen as shadow is not, and the inherit for such. Okay, so did he bless my crowns, or uh, perhaps I need to be wearing them? What am I doing? So I should have four. Wait, wait a minute. I need all the crowns, don't I? I need his crown. Because I have his crown, but I think I stored it away. Because I got it long ago. Or do I need all f four? Well, let's just try putting this on. Dark was shadow and in such dark. Hmm. Such is the. Well, I think I do need his crown. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I looked it up and it's a little bit more complicated than I thought. I just assumed that I had the king's crown on me, just somewhere in my item box, but it turns out I actually don't. And the reason for that is because how you get the king's crown and actually the rest of his armor is actually kind of complicated. You have to actually kill the king, that's the, the zombified version of him that's dragging around that massive sword. Because you can kill him, he doesn't aggro automatically, but apparently if you start hacking at him, he will eventually, at some point, actually start to attack you. So I need to not only kill him, but I also need to go somewhere else to actually find the armor, because it doesn't actually drop the armor on him when he dies. You have to kill him, and then you have to go somewhere else, to like the Shrine of Amana or something, and then apparently at some place there's a chest that has the full set of armor that contains the crown. So if I have if I have his crown as part of that set, and all three crowns from the DLC, as I do have right now, and I bring all of those to him, then he'll do his blessing. There's apparently some sort of a cutscene, and he blesses all of the crowns, making it so that the crowns have a new effect. And that effect is that they prevent you from hollowing upon death. Which apparently is important for the story, because it I guess that's what you're doing in the game apparently trying to undo the curse or something I don't I don't know I don't know anything about the damn story in this game to be honest I never paid any attention and any bits of story I learned probably like five months ago or something I mean I played this game for over 90 hours I don't remember what the hell's happened I remember boss fights but don't remember simple character motivations like what the hell I'm actually doing, but apparently I've been trying to cure cure the curse of death, and I guess it's cool that there's a way to kind of cure it. I mean, I'm still stuck here, so I don't know what good that is. I don't know. But anyway, I certainly can't be asked to kill the king that I never wanted to kill in the first place, go somewhere else to find a suit of armor, then bring it back to him, and then do that all for a crown that I don't even really care to wear. So I'll have to leave that up to the imagination if you want. I'm sure you could find videos about it. But, uh... Yeah, that's never been what's interested me. Honestly, I don't give a damn about the story. Which is weird, because I'm someone who's actually typically very story-focused in the games that I play. But for me, Dark Souls is not a game about a story. It's not a tale about, you know, trying to unhollow myself and something <laughs> to me th to me the story of dark souls is go places kill stuff that's it because to me the story of a game is what you're actually doing most of the time 
and what you're doing most of the time is killing enemies. So to me, that's the only thing that really matters in this game. Right, it's just like when action games have little bits of cutscenes in them. And those cutscenes contain the story and the rest of the game is just, you know, like, shooting stuff. You know, the game isn't really about the stuff in the little tiny bits of cutscenes. You know, the game is about what you're doing most of the time. At least to me. So for Dark Souls, the game is about killing bosses and conquering things and collecting loot. Anyway, so that is the end of the trilogy of DLCs. Those are some really excellent DLCs. Like I said before, I think I actually like them more than the main game. The main game was actually, frankly, too easy at certain points. There were some points where it was extremely hard, especially kind of earlier on. But I think the last maybe 50% or so of the main game was actually surprisingly easy for the most part. Whereas I felt the difficulty of the DLCs was just absolutely perfect, except for the whole run-up to that dual tiger boss fight. That just sucked, but other than that, it was really good. Yeah, those are some excellent DLCs. So that is the end of the trilogy, whether they're going to make any more DLCs of any other sort, any other trilogies or single sets of DLCs or whatever they're going to do, I have no idea. But if they do continue it, then you can be certain that I will play it. So, I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for joining me on the crown of the Ivory King and all of the other two crowns. And the main game, if you watch that as well. Hope you had fun. I would say be back soon, but I don't know if I will, because I don't know if they're going to make more. But if they do, then I definitely will be back soon. So, thank you for watching.